Have you ever felt a dissonance between who you are and who you know you could be? The gap between your current self and your best self, your potential. If you have the sensation that there is so much more within you and that you really could be performing at a much higher level, that you could feel much better, that you could make a greater impact, then to close it and to start to move in the right direction, begin with clarity. Clarity in exactly who you want to become. Most important of all is the type of character that you want to build. Because if you know exactly who you need to be, then you'll be able to achieve anything that you want to achieve. It all starts internally, right? Because if you can think better, feel better, behave better, and also connect that with actually being consistent, then all of a sudden we have a recipe for success. If you know that there's more in you, then not tapping into it inherently presents a problem where you feel like you are letting yourself and the people around you down because you owe it both to yourself and also the world to tap into your potential, to maximize, to really give it your all. Otherwise, you're always going to feel some level of dissatisfaction. And it's not even necessarily about having the next big breakthrough or you know, attracting or pulling something into your life, achieving a massive goal, but rather the feeling that you are doing your best. That feeling in and of itself is so extremely satisfying and fulfilling that it really lights up your whole life and everything that you do starts to become more enjoyable. See, I'm not asking you to go above and beyond yourself. I'm not asking you to work despite yourself and push through. What I'm really looking for you to do is to fully embrace all that you have. Your own capacity, your own gifts. Are you telling me that you're tapping into them fully? Is there something that you are just kind of allowing yourself to get by with where you know you could be doing so much better? The longer that goes on for, the more dissonance you get, the more that frustration, that pent up resentment towards yourself really starts to build up. And when that thing gets momentum, it really will keep you stuck for a very, very long time. Unless you become conscious of it, unless you decide to leap out of your current comfort zone and challenge yourself. And again, the easiest way that you can do that is with the clarity and by having a vision, by having some form of imagination, projection into the future. Look at what you could be. Look at who you could become and really feel it as if you were there right now. Whether you're stronger and faster or smarter and more strategic, all of it may be put together. What can you tap into within yourself to really elevate to that next level? And to be inspired, look at the people that you admire and think about how much effort and energy how much time they've put in to really realize their potential. It doesn't happen by itself. It doesn't happen when we stay on the same track for a long time, when we get into an echo chamber. It happens when we challenge ourselves, when we dare to dream and to expand, when we stop contracting and holding ourselves back because we're afraid of what might happen or what might get in the way. No matter how great the challenges in your life are right now, you are greater than them. You can overcome any and anything that you think can stop you or hold you back has only been made that powerful by your own mind. If you believe that something is too difficult to break through, if something is too big of an obstacle for you to move forward, then you have taken that on as a truth, as a fact. You've bought into it, you believe it, now you look for evidence to support it and of course you buy into it even more which then leads you to be stuck. So I invite you to ask yourself, like I've asked myself and so many clients over the years, is this really the reason why you can't do and be and have what you want? Or are you just using it as a reason because you're afraid? Because you're afraid of what might happen if you actually succeed? Because you're afraid of what might happen if you temporarily fail? Of course, you never really fail until you give up anyway, but maybe, just maybe, you're afraid of how people will look at you, how you'll look at yourself, and maybe that's enough to stop you, to buy into the bullshit, to the reason. 
today is the day to break free of that. Not at some point when you feel better, not at some point in the future when things are going better, because there will always be something else. I promise you there is another reason right around the corner that you can point to and look at and believe in and obsess about as the reason for why you're not where you could be. Start closing the potential gap. Stop allowing yourself to drift further away from who you could be. You have to be a little bit aggressive when it comes to this because otherwise it's just gonna slip by day after day. How quickly time passes, it's incredible, right? Before you know it, years have gone by and you're still spinning your wheels. And we don't want any of that. We're not gonna put up with that. That's not good enough. That's not okay. We need to challenge ourselves. We need to muster up the energy and the courage to say, I'm going to take on more. I can be more. I have more in me. And regardless of what's really getting in my way right now, it's time to break through. And of course, one little step at a time. What can you do today to take one step closer towards your ideal self, your best version? What's one little thing that you normally wouldn't do or where you get caught up or where you slip up? Today, make a little bit of extra effort and get it right. And then tomorrow and the day after. And we build momentum slowly but surely day after day. You do this for a few months, you're a completely different person. And the way you feel about yourself, the way you look at yourself, when you look at yourself in the mirror, wow. It's night and day. So release the old reasons why and buy into the fact and the idea that you can be more, that you have more in you. And then act accordingly because you absolutely deserve to experience what it's like to be the best version of yourself. And if you'd like my personal support and guidance, if you'd like me to help develop you week over week to work with you, hold you accountable and make sure that you reach your potential, that you become the best version of yourself, then I invite you to jump over to eraphael.com. Link is in the description over there. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me directly. We'll speak, see if it's a good fit. And if so, I'll be coaching you and supporting you, making sure that you are at your absolute peak performance level. Again, if you want to take advantage of it, eraphael.com. Link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.